That's what he always scraped the manure lot with, his old 520 Johnny Popper. As a kid, ever as a, growing up as a kid, I'd always hear him out here scraping the lot off. He'd get that thing down to where that son of a butt. I know he used to have fun with it. I could tell. He'd get that thing pulled down to where you can count it. <laughs> count the pops, you know what I mean? And sometimes he'd kill it, but sometimes, it, most of the time, he'd make it. <laughs> All this is manure lot stuff. They're all this is cattle on it. And he'd feed them out there twice a day. And then the cows would come up in here. Well, there's some old tractor. I ain't never seen that one before. That's something Randall's got going. He said there's one tractor got off his farm, but it was an international. I don't think it was a deer. That's something Randall Bumble's got going on. But, uh, Cows come up in here and they feed them and stuff there and all that stuff, and then they come in the milk farmer up inside here. I'll bring y'all in here and they're going to be them. So here's where he used to feed them before he got a silo. Then he used this for pack for years. And he had this over the farm later in there. And that's a seal silo. Here's, and this would bring the food around. And it ran this way. So his paddles kind of scooped, I guess, and pulled. I don't remember that real good. But he'd run out so much of it, you know, feed him. And there's all the workings. That auger over there, would un it unload out the other side. Boy, I remember, I'll never forget the smell of this stuff when I grew up as a kid. Of course, it's all, there was all corral here and stuff. Randall's pulled that stuff out. You know, there's all fence, and he had paddocks in here and stuff, you know. To, but you'd open that lid up. That lid was sealed. The saw was totally sealed. Back in the day, you'd open that lid up. And then he'd start everything right here. And then uh, there's where he'd add grain. If you wanted to add some grain, it would come down there. Sometimes he'd turn it on and add a little bit of grain. But he kind of stood there. And then got his mixture right. You know, he'd run, at times he'd start this silo here and this one of feeding his feed out. And that's what brought it around. I don't, that, I don't think that's pass. I don't know what. But this in here kind of made a blowing sound when it come out. And this stuff would all fall out here from way up in the top up there. I don't hope there ain't any waspers in here. This is the rig. This rig was on a hoist. That's why you hear blowing sound. Hell, it was a blower. I didn't know that. See the chute? That's why this one would make a blowing sound. There's a blower down there. And uh, you'd raise it up on top of it. You'd have to raise it all the way up when you go to fill it. You know, as you're filling it up in here. And I don't know how he blowed it in. I guess he blowed it in these holes here. But it wasn't real sealed. This one wasn't sealed real good. The other one, it had a valve. He had to let off the pressure so it'd slide down because it was a bottom. And that's a top discharge. See, it top up there. And that blue pipe, or that white pipe, that's how you loaded it. 
you had your blower down here. But that's how that was done. You had your blower, you pulled up in the solids wagon, you blowed her up in there, and there's a manure pit. There's where you scrape the lot into, is this honey, this honey pit. All this was fenced. Randall's took all the fence down, it's old and rotten. Oh, it's full of water now. It was always ripe in there. So he'd run his tractor over it and then fall down in that pit. Yeah, see how the grapes is getting rotten. And then he had, in this hole was where his pump went and he'd back his honey wagon up and load his honey wagon up. Now before them days, he would take out the old tractor and he would bring it out and he'd put a uh, poop wagon there and he'd take it out and them's all his fields and that stuff and he'd spread it out, you know, so you're feeding your fields there and stuff, you know. Mama's up there at the boys. Just a long-term thinker. This is where it started on this dairy farm. The A lot of the money that funded Big Mama and Big Daddy when they got started come from this dairy farm, come from the sacrifices Papa made here. And uh, now, of course, they paid uh, they paid dividends and stuff like that, you know, as we as we went on. That's, our, that's what we're after right there. We got a little, what the heck? But anyways, uh, that's where it come from. And you build generations upon generations and you, you feed that and you keep training the next generation. Work hard and blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's that tracker dad was talking about. This was the old tracker dad was talking about, I think. Okay, try not to pay attention. I got this screwed up in my head. This was a tracker Randall just bought, but Mom and Dad had bought a tractor right after they got married. It was just like this tractor. It was, it was not identical, but it was just the same, the same thing, basically, is what this is. And that's the stories that I heard and got myself confused on. But no, this here is actually a tractor Randall bought. Uh, and he's going to restore some of them when, spare, and when he finally gets some time. Right now, he's a busy bee. I've never seen it. Randall's been going around trying to get these old tractors and put back on his farm. Dad and Mom borrowed this tractor when they first got married a few times. Because Dad would talk about getting stuck high sitting on a stump or something with it. It's a small tractor. It's an industrial style tractor. That is a cool little unit. I've never seen it before though. Boy, it is a low rider. Ain't no wonder you're getting stuck on stumps. Wow. That is cool. Hmm. I don't know what year. I guess 60s. Obviously. That is cool. The mom and dad, they first got married, didn't have a nothing, you know, couldn't even have a tractor. And they had to borrow pop balls from time to time. He talked about getting stuck on the stump of that thing. Trying to clear out around our farm. You know, our farm is all timber. Big Daddy pretty much. And here's Pop Paul's truck. Randall's put it in here for storage. You know. And and, and when other you see that GMC when we drove in, you seen the GMC sitting there. My mom and papa bought it new whenever i'd say his mid-70s truck towards the late 70s and that thing i guarantee you prime up the carburetor hit it and it'll fire right up and go that's just how you take care of things i always drove pop all nuts we drove ford tractors they're half price those of you don't know ford tractors are like half price of a deer <laughs> so you're dollar for dollar we'd always go with the ford but there's and them wasn't bad tractors and Fords wasn't, but now the new Hollands and stuff with all the knickknacks and goofy stuff on them, you know. All the same was always get a reliable John Deere, you know. You and he was right; he was a hundred percent right. But that's more that uh, attitude of building wealth, take care of something once you got it, and build on it, you know.
I don't know when this building went in. This was his silage pit. It's what he used to have, you know, before he got to silo. Is where we used to put silage in. And I don't know another date. I had to walk through here sometime with Mama. You see how all the concrete was freehanded and stuff, you know. Everything was worked, everything was done, you know, pretty much labor intensive. Just kind of like a stroll through memory lane. I don't think I've ever seen it cleaned out. I've never seen this. This has always had hay in it my whole life. I've never been able to walk through here. This is concrete I've never seen. That's amazing. See, and this was, you know, the, you see here where you could pitch your silage down to the cows years ago. You know, when everybody be eating in here, you pitched it down to them, you know. This stuff wasn't here, see, these bars to put in later, but you know, they could get their heads in here and eat and stuff, you know. And then the same in the back here. So you just shoveled your stuff to it years ago or what have you, you know, you shovel it down to it till you know, till later on, and you get your tractor and loader bucket it over there, you know. Isn't that cool? Well, let me get my greater blade and get out of here. try to uh, hook her up poop mom maybe get some veggie but I can't leave big mama if she needs me I'll have to stay around for her but I, I, if, if I can go I'm gonna go with poop this is the wieners this ain't the sellers that could be the sellers out there I think it is the sellers actually them's the wieners He's a weaning heifers. Hi guys, how you doing? Oh, Rasputia. How you doing? Them all. Uh, oh, Durka Durka. Them's uh, the sailor pen. Big Mom and Big Daddy. Big Daddy's having trouble uh, calling them now. We're trying to keep the farm to a certain size, and uh, now he's starting to call good cows. So. He's having trouble with it. But he'll make peace with it. We got good heifers coming along. All right, let me get back to work. Granny's AC and all that stuff since I got home. And I don't know who's been fed. All right, everybody, this here, I want to share this with you. Now, this tracker, we, we, I pulled all the tractor tires off and put these up. Uh, we went and found some old turf tires and stuff somewhere and put on it and got some different wheels and put on it. And I got some the tires off of my service truck on the front of the tractor. Uh, so this is basically Junkyard's lawnmower is what this tractor is now. But this is the story. I mean, now I got all the tractor tires and stuff kept for it and stored, stored, you know. But this is the deal. This is a 4600 Ford. It's a, it's the same. It was being made the same time I was. It's a '79 model, and so am I. And Big Mom, and Big Daddy bought this new the summer after I was born. So this tractor pretty much stays pretty close to me. I keep this tractor close. Uh, and always look out for it. Now, that old greater blade, <laughs> that sucker was used too much when it was new. <laughs> but uh, I'm just peddling. This is where the. There, I'm squalling at mommy, I think, here in a second.
basically with this set, what's going on in the sod clumps and stuff, I just wear it out. I mean, it's there's not much. Basically, I, but my job did, did yesterday was to retrieve the greater blade and get it up there and get that worked in and stuff and put the greater blade up. Uh, and basically, I'm just, this here is where they had to rerun the utilities after the heel side slipped. Any of you remember the big slide that I had there this winter? Uh, and the utilities, it ripped them out of the daggone boxes. So they ran through here, through my yard to get them up and above. And since then, the trench has sank in, so I'm kind of running it down with my steer tire on the tractor and, and, and kind of working sod back and forth to get it in there. Just kind of, it looks like a waste of time. But I'm pretty sure that when it comes to earth moving, this is three times as good as the earth moving that Let's Dig 18 can do. I am for certain of that. But uh, as far as my standards, it's probably not, not up to my standards. But... No, but I got a soft spot for this old tractor, and it's a three-cylinder diesel naturally aspirated engine. I just like listening to my, uh, this old tractor. I, I grew up riding on the fender where Calvin's riding right now, with Big Mama and Big Daddy driving. cutting. Uh, she's got this field done over shower, and that field done, and she ought to be coming up through here sometime here pretty quick. Her AC was temperamental when she started, and the daggone, every year that tractor sets through the winter, and the spring, the clutch don't want to kick in. The past two years it's done that. Take a daggone chainsaw wrench and smack it, went to work, and it's been working here for some time. Check her. You on here, Johnny? Bad, Johnny. 
Your AC working? Yeah, it's good. If you have, I'm going to find out to send back on. I've got it once and the other time I just turned it off and on a few times and then come back up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. 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 I'll need to go ahead and get a clutch and put on it there, but surely it'll make it this round. Here's the pad Big Daddy put up. We're actually, uh, Big Daddy's actually found him a couple buildings he likes, store-bought and method. We're probably going to just get a store-bought building. Get the Amish to build a fort or something. We ain't got time for the damn building. Yeah, I can build us a fortress, but that going, uh, I do got priorities, you know. And they'll build it more efficiently. I mean, it might be, you know, it might not be a great big stiff thing like know great big overbuilt thing like I was thinking but that going we got it we got we ain't got time you know we just ain't got that kind of time to be doing that stuff anymore you know I, I'd like to build it but sometimes it just don't work out all right thanks everybody for watching leave me likes and comments and tell me what's up and everything and uh uh if you want any gear go to loggerway.com and check her out thanks everybody later on bye, bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Those are good babies. I said bye too. You did. You said bye too. I love you. Bad babies. <laughs>